Well, let me just say, this stuff, man, I can't say enough about it. It's, this is stuff is really great because if you're going to be welding in an area that you're afraid of burning something and you don't want to weld, this panel adhesive is in a league by itself. They've been, they've been putting cars together with this stuff now. Pretty much most of the cars glued together, for crying out loud, except for structural frame stuff. Quarter panels, rocker panels, door skins, you name it, right? So I had to put a little patch panel up in here because this was rusted out I still got to do another one right up in here and um, I got this you know I got the metal I just got to shape it for this go from here to here but I put it in here made that angle <coughs> that came around came down this way curved around this way it's in there <coughs> I just got to you know sand it down a little bit <coughs> and um, you know just this plastic piece goes over and you, you know and you'll just be painted it this color right here which is ain't gonna take too long to do that you know it takes more time for the stuff to dry than it does to actually do the work um <coughs> but the deal is <coughs> you know if you're welding in here you could burn all this stuff I was putting some stuff in here before that to um block it from uh, getting all screwed up and you got to watch for sparks hitting this well, you know, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about burning, you know, taking this out and burning this or anything like that. Nope, no problem. This stuff is very strong. Um, and takes a long time to dry. But what I did was I cleaned it off first. You know, I, I cleaned off everything with the Dremel tool. Make sure the metal is scratched up really good. Then I cleaned it off with starting fluid, ether, right? Or you can use like brake cleaner or something. Make sure it's really chemically clean. Then I clamped the metal down with a couple of these clamps like that right here just had it clamped in here and uh, you know I had it in like that I had it clamped and let it sit for about 12 hours and it's solid you know the other thing too this door there was a uh, I've been doing I've been doing a lot of this with the panel adhesive and I was like shit man you know I did the bottom of this door had some rust roots now when I DA that, I'm just gonna put some plastic over it, paint it. <laughs> You'll never even know that shit was fixed. And thing is, it's very impervious to uh, moisture. So it's a quick and dirty. It's kind of a. It's not that cheap, you know, to buy this stuff. But um, it's worth it though because I guess it is cheaper for all the time it saves you. And I don't think you'll ever have a problem in because you know the whole inside of this thing if I welded this um, you can't get on the inside and you weld something uh, it could still rust through because where you weld is not going to be protected the metals not going to be protected uh, but you can really have all this you can coat the whole inside of the part with panel adhesive and that's what I did <laughs> so this is never going to rust out again. It can't. Because it's actually got like about an eighth inch or sixteenth of an inch coat of panel adhesive on a part that was ground rough and then chemically cleaned. And I mixed it up thoroughly. You're supposed to use a mixing gun with this, but I mixed it up thoroughly. So this thing, man, if they had this stuff years ago, God, boy, this has been, I ordered another, some more of it though. They're about you can get them as cheap as $36 for a couple tubes of it, but it does go pretty far. It does go pretty far. You can get a long, you get quite a bit out of it. But it's been saving me a lot of time. I'm almost done with this bitch, too. I'm going to get it down on the ground here pretty soon.